Um, I think it, to be fair, I think it all depends. Um, it depends on how proactive you are as an agent. Um, so when I started with Lincoln back in May, uh, there was, I think there were six or seven new starters. Um, and we had a training academy for a few days. And within that training academy, um, one of my colleagues um, actually took time out to go and have a look around some of the buildings and the towers in that um, agent's area. And she got talking with some people and she did a deal within the first kind of few days of working um, at the company. So that for her was being proactive. Um, averagely speaking, so uh, before I come to McCone, I asked the exact same question to uh, my, my leasing manager and they say between sort of one to three months, you should expect your first deal. But I do think it can be sooner, again, depending on how proactive you are. But worst case scenario, it should be around three months. Uh, me personally, um, it took just over four weeks. So I was actually one of the last agents to make my first deal at McCone. Um, but once the first deal come in, then a lot more to follow pretty quickly. So again, when you first become an agent, uh, you are pretty much office based 99% of the time. So definitely for the first sort of one to two months, you are on the phones um, pretty much all day. You're working out the best times to call clients and you're kind of finding a balance that works for you. Um, but yeah, predominantly, for the first one to two months, you'll be in the office. And then when you build up your stock, build up your listings, um, after sort of month three, you'll be going out and doing viewings and be, up, be out of the office most of the time. Um, yeah. Is real estate like selling sunsets? The amount of messages that I've had on Instagram and from friends from work um, back home, uh, it, it does seem like it's it's kind of the sun and sunset vibe out here, but unfortunately the reality isn't the same. Um, there's a lot of hours you've got to put in. There's lots of blood, sweat and tears. Obviously the weather out here in Dubai is extremely hot. So, you know, you're fighting that every day in and out of the car, doing viewings, aircon breaks in the car. I do think that it can be like selling sunset once you become a more established broker, but certainly in the first sort of year or two, uh, it's completely different. So I would advise that if anyone wants to come out to Dubai to be a real estate agent, just to keep that in mind. Mm -hmm.